Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. It's a new week. It's been a long time. I mean, maybe it hasn't, but it feels like it. Does it feel like it's been three weeks since I streamed to anybody else, or is it just me? I'm curious. Hello, Candia. Hello, hello. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Is that today? <laughs> is that today? <laughs> happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, hi, Wolfie. Hi, Heather. Hi, Rose. Brandy, hello. Nina, Irie, Katie, you made a live. Welcome in. Also, your partner got you the DLC for Mother's Day. Amazing. Flawless. Have you started it yet? And do you love it? I have so many questions. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Tira. Hi, Christine. Hi, Elizabeth. Finally get to catch a stream. Welcome in. You've been watching the VODs for a few weeks now, but glad to see me on live. Well, welcome. Thank you for watching the VODs. I'm happy you were able to make it. Today, we're going to be working on the star path because here's the thing. I really, really want to decorate. Um, I've been thinking about decorating since the last stream. I actually finished, I might have finished <laughs> the area that we started on Wednesday, but I tried to restrain myself from doing any more decorating. But I'm feeling like how we have 30 days, which is a long time, but I don't know. Usually if I have something to do in the game, I feel compelled to work on that until it's done and if i spend too many days decorating in a row i feel like i'm neglecting the stuff that i have to do i don't know just a little a little tiptoe into my psyche so we're gonna work on the star path today um hi mariah hello christina marissa lucy hi kitty hello jessica hello uh katie the map is taking some getting used to but you love that you have so much to do again oh yeah I still sometimes get a little bit lost on Eternity Isle, I'm not going to lie. Um, so what do we have going on today? My goal is to keep going until I physically cannot because the tasks prevent me from doing so. We'll see how that goes. Um, I need to bring Donald some gifts, talk to Minnie, give gifts to Mother Gothel, catch some tentacled seafood, work at the restaurant, cook fancy meals. Okay, I think first up we're going to go to the Glade to try to catch some squid. And then we're going to go to the restaurant and then we'll go from there, I think. Oh, let's see the area. OK, OK, OK. Well, once I go to the Glade and fish up some things, then we can go over to Eternity Isle and I can show you what I finished over there. Um, Eternity Isle is also turning into a mess, much like. Oh, well, this is unfortunate. Um, That I have an elixir on here. It's fine. It's fine. I really only need blue bubbles anyway. Um, I really tried not to decorate anything except for the rest of the... What area was that? The lagoon? But I did start plopping down some items for other builds. But I didn't organize them. I just really want to decorate. Wolfie, you gave up on the star path? Listen, you still have a whole month left. So if you're not feeling it right now, you have plenty of time to get back to it before it ends. Hi, you almost completed the star path. Some of the tasks tend to be so frustrating, but the items are so worth it. Yeah, I feel like also, again, we have so much time. So I am fully aware that I'm not in a rush or I don't need to be in a rush. It's just something about me needs to finish. <laughs> or I don't know. I feel like whenever I'm lingering or like lurking in other people's streams, they've already finished the star path. And then I look at mine and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I should probably work on that a little bit. Um, okay, okay. Ignore this. These are just items that I placed here because, okay, we'll we'll do a little a little situation. This area up here, I want to make an entire garden, essentially, like a park slash garden, if that makes sense, like a walking garden. Um, so I pulled out some items that I might want to use, but I'm kind of waiting because they're are a couple premium shop items that we may or may not see soon that I might want to use here. So I just plopped those down for now. Um, that's going to be Mirabelle's house. That's probably the next thing we're going to decorate, maybe on Tuesday. Um, but what I finished was the lagoon area. Oh, can we see which top I'm wearing today? Another touch of magic. Yeah, another touch of magic. Literally, again, just another tank top that um, has a single motif on it. Uh, yeah, just a beige tank top. <laughs> a beige tank top with a giant motif on it. 
Listen, it's so easy. <laughs> Anyone know when the Easter event is? I don't know, actually. Okay, so here's the tour. We come down here. It's a jungle, okay? Um, We have a nice view of the water and waterfall, fairly unobstructed. We have a very, very tucked away singular tent with a water pump, some barrels, a campfire, all such. Some cookies if anyone wants to grab them. Maybe they're poisoned, maybe they're not. I don't know. Over here we have a picnic set up, which is pretty cute. There's no light down here, but, <laughs> but I feel like that kind of makes sense because it's a jungle and there isn't really a lot of light down in the jungle. And then over here we come to our actual like campsite. There's a little log book. You write down your name or whatever when you got here, when you leave. There's a disposable camera, a wally boot. We got some bird houses and we got a couple tents, right? With a campfire, chairs, clutter, a guitar, because I feel like you have to have a guitar at a campsite. Um, we have a picnic table with campy foods our RV with a water cooler because you need fresh water. I did put an outhouse. I just tucked it back there, which I guess works. Um, and then through here, we have a little painting nook, which is really just where I have my crafting table. That's what that's for. And then if we go around the other way, this way is the exit, but there's also a tiny little hidden access to the river where there's a seat and some books and a nice root beer float. So that's what we're working with here. And I'm pretty happy with it. Honestly, it felt like coming home to decorate with just a million trees, a million pieces of underbrush, and just clutter the heck out of this place. So it was a lot of fun. You're glad you already finished your star path because you're the worst for procrastinating. Oh, yeah. Usually I'm not too bad about it, but um, I don't know. I just want it done. It looks amazing. Thank you. You love how I have the small areas isolated. Yeah, I like things feeling cozy. So if I kind of put a lot of trees and then just leave little alcoves. It feels nice and snug and I like that. Okay, royal tea, sauteed mushrooms, raspberry jam sandwich. I think we can do these. Actually, tropical pop, I know we have. Sauteed mushrooms and royal tea. I think we can do all of these. Looks so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm very happy with it. Um, and the next thing we're probably going to tackle is the Madrigal house because... I went through and placed a bunch of colorful eye like I just pulled out a bunch of things from furniture mode that were nice and colorful that I thought I might want to use there and popped them down in oh wait no that's the lagoon the area that I decorated is the promenade I think um yeah so that'll be coming up probably this week we'll do that what am I looking for tropical pop It was your first star path and you were so excited that you finished it really fast. I feel like that's usually what I do. But I don't know. Usually my valley is mostly put together by the time an update comes along. And this time it was very much the opposite. So I feel like somewhat equally compelled to decorate and also progress. I still haven't done any of Mike's quests yet, but honestly... I'm a little bit less worried about that. Your goal for today is to unlock the Forgotten Lands. You have 2,800 out of the 15,000 that you need. Ooh, so a lot to do. Yeah, I feel like 10,000 Dreamlight. You can usually get in about an hour or so if you're just grinding the Dreamlight duties. It's not too, too bad. The name Promenade makes you think of that old Bratz video game. I don't think I know which one you're talking about. I don't know if I actually played any Bratz video games. Okay, Donald, you can have this. Amazing. Also, Donald, I want to know what you want. 
Glazed donuts, red luminescent flowers, and white sturgeon. Okay, I don't know if I know how to make glazed donuts, but you're gonna come with me until I can get those gifts for you. Mickey, I have your mushrooms. You finished all of the quests and the star path, and now you're struggling to find the motivation and inspiration to decorate. Oh no! I feel like sometimes if you just put down a bunch of items, something will just like hit you. At least sometimes that's how it is for me. If I just scroll through my furniture and pull out things that look interesting, sometimes that helps to spark a little bit of inspiration for me. Bratz Forever Diamonds. I feel like I may have heard of it. I wasn't really a Bratz girly. I was definitely more of like a Barbie girly. Um, okay, we need to talk with Woody. We also need to give gifts to Mother Gothel. Okay, Donald's with us. Let's go. We'll go get what he needs. Which was a red flower. You liked both, but Bratz killed it with fashion and makeup. You know, I feel like my mom didn't really like me to play with Bratz. Um, I wasn't really aware of Bratz media as such until the live action Bratz movie came out, which was, in fact, a cultural reset. And... <laughs> um, yeah, I watched that. <laughs> that was pretty much it. Okay, we need a white sturgeon, and I need to figure out how to make some donuts if I don't know already. Um, no, not here. Here we go. Okay, Donald. You may have these. And you may have these. The movie, though, you loved it. Oh, I loved it. It was great. Fabulous. Much like the song in the movie. Wow. Didn't do that intentionally, but I'm happy that it happened. Um, You feel like you can't get a cohesive design in areas. You just feel too scattered. You know what's the solution for that, in my opinion? Um, one is keeping the same pathing throughout the entire area, if you can. And the other one is, in fact, trees. If you, <laughs> Not just because I like trees, but also because I feel like if you have the same trees throughout an area and the same path, it automatically, like, blends it together, if that makes sense. Even if the design styles are fairly different, it helps things look at least like they're... they're supposed to be in the same space okay i don't have the recipe for glazed donuts so i'm gonna just open the wiki because i can't be bothered to try to guess this um glazed donut hello that was really rude glazed donut there we go um wheat egg and any sweet okay noted Hi, Yana. Hello. How are you? Egg and any sweet. I don't know if cocoa is going to count, even though it's listed here. Sometimes you feel like vibes also help with decorating. For sure. I feel like we might have talked about this the last time I was decorating, or maybe it was when I was finishing the dunes. Sometimes I feel like I can't visualize what I want an area to look like, but I know how I want it to feel or like to make me feel. And sometimes that's just what you got to go for. Paths and trees fix everything. Got it. Thanks for the help. Oh, yeah, I definitely feel like paths and trees. <laughs> Hi, leaf pool. And also, yes, kitty. F to the A to the B. <laughs> B, L, O, U, S. I'm going to have to watch that again. Okay, we need to talk to Minnie. 
Like if you have, or if something has a foresty type of vibe or a beach vibe, you already know where to place things. Yeah, that too. I feel like also sometimes colors, if like, for instance, um, I don't do this with Minnie's house because I like to keep all of my Mickey and Friends characters together if I can. But like if I was going off of Minnie's house and I was popping it in the glade, I would try to mostly use purple and pink things. I'd probably bring the cherry trees down there because those are really pretty. Use the Forgotten Lands bushes um, and see what like purple and pink furniture items we have and make all of that work together. Movie night, listen. I still would love to do movie nights on Discord at some point. I just feel like I don't know how to do that in a way that's both functional and also legal. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Um, I was wondering, what was I wondering, Minnie? Is it hard to walk in heels all the time? I guess I'm just used to it, and I always make sure to have a wide heel so it's very comfortable and safe. Oh, Good chat, Minnie. Hello, hello, welcome in. Esfi, hello. Michelle, Christina, your nephew has taken over your Dreamlight Valley game. I would not allow that. If possible, I would start another save for them. If not possible, I would be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is mine. You cannot have it. Um, mine for orange gems. Chat with your favorite deputy. Okay, let's go see Mother Gothel so we can get her her gifts. And maybe I'll talk to Woody on the way if I can find him. Just so I don't forget to do that later, even though we're not going to be able to finish that today. Hi, Mochi. Hello, hello. Ooh, Yana, you finished your dream snaps today? That's amazing. I'm interested to see what the next theme is. That's always how I feel around this time. Um, Jessica, if the audio's having issues for you, sometimes refreshing the stream works or like the page for YouTube or like leaving and coming back. Sometimes YouTube does kind of strange here, things. Okay, let's go find Mother Gothel. Hopefully she's at her tree. I feel like I get so annoyed trying to find people on the map anymore that I always just go to their house first. And if they're not there, I usually give up. Okay, what is it that you want today? Orange and red marsh milkweed and leek. Okay, I'm probably not giving you a shiny bumblestone unless I absolutely have to. Come with me. Sometimes YouTube is just rude. Exactly. It can be very rude. Um, The milkweed I should have here. I think it was an orange and red one. Um, you can have this. Also, while I'm here, let me just fish. Even if I have to fish the white bubbles with this elixir, that's fine. We'll get rid of it. And I feel like sometimes the white bubbles will also have squid occasionally. Hi, Janice. Hello, hello. You love this hairstyle with this headband? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I feel like... Sometimes there are hairstyles that I'm not a huge fan of, and maybe it's just my character's face shape. Um, but if I add a headband to it, it completely changes it. Like the French braid hairstyle that kind of, um, I don't know. It's just a slicked back braid. I feel like I can only wear that one if I'm wearing a headband. Otherwise, I feel like my character looks weird. Bree, hello. You always watch the content, your favorite dreamlight. Oh, wait, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you for lurking and thank you for popping out to say hi. I appreciate it so much. Okay, okay. I also have a monkey following me around today, which I don't remember why that happened. 
but it's kind of a nice change of pace. You like to wear the braid when you're doing a Jesse vibe. Ooh, I really hope we get Jesse in game at some point. I feel like it would be really rude not to. Okay, <laughs> I'm about to give up on this circle. Actually, that's a question that I have for everybody. Um, I would like to know the two characters you would most likely or most like to see in Dreamlight Valley. One of the characters should be from an IP that we already have in game and the other one should be from an IP that we don't already have in game. I'm very curious about those things in particular. Just wanted a monkey today. I think I was taking a picture down by the area that I decorated. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this morning I really was waffling back and forth about whether I was going to do some star path stuff today or whether I was going to do decorating. So I took a picture down by the campsite and I wanted the monkey in the picture because I was going to make that my thumbnail if we were going to be decorating today. I think this is the last one I'm going to fish right now. Hi, Cassie. Hello. You'd cry tears of joy if we got Jesse. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the channel before. I don't think this is something that's findable. Okay. <laughs> um, what did I need for Mother Gothel? Anyway, um, but once upon a time, I... Oh, a leak. I used to do figure skating. Um, and... For one of the performances that I did, I did um, like a skating routine to When Somebody Loved Me. And I had this entire Jesse costume that I wore. I had like a set piece that we made. Of, like It was so extra. It was so extra. And there was me, <laughs> baby Tink. And I mean, I wasn't a baby, but... Uh, yeah, in this whole Jessie getup, figure skating her little heart out to <laughs> when somebody loved me. <laughs> I think about that all the time. You would love to see Flynn for Rapunzel, which you think is going to happen, and you'd love to see Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. I love those answers. Uh, Yana, Timon, and Tinkerbell. Love those. Mulan and Cinderella. Well, we know Mulan should be coming probably in, like, June-ish. <laughs> and Cinderella, hopefully, at some point. We've been waiting on her forever. Aladdin and Jasmine, Hercules and Bo Peep. Jasmine and Hercules. I really want Hercules characters. Mostly I want Meg and Hades, but I will accept Hercules also. You would love Aurora and Winnie the Pooh, Bo Peep, Jesse, and the Three Nephews. Nice. Asha and Eugene. I love Asha. Wait, where's Mother Gothel? I don't need her anymore, but I kind of want to get rid of her officially. Um, I love Asha. I do hope we get Asha at some point, but I feel like if we were to get her, it probably would have been when Wish came out, so I don't know. Uh, definitely like Cinderella and the prince or another male character. You feel like we're lacking in princes. I do agree with that. We don't have very many princes. Okay, orange gems and things from our... Things. Oh, you remember me saying that on the channel? I couldn't remember if I did or not. I talk about it with my sisters all the time. Alice would be amazing. I would really like Alice. I do like Alice as a character. I also really like Wendy, which I feel like I talk about a lot because in my brain, Wendy doesn't get enough love and respect like Peter and Tinkerbell do, but I really like Wendy. Pumbaa would be great too. We have seen Pumbaa. Um, and Timon as character models, so probably at some point. 
It is in Sunlit that Citrine live, right? Sunlit and the Glade? I don't think I'm making that up. Oh, I should probably use an elixir, though. Let me get those. Um, I guess I'll take these. Jasmine and Aladdin, and you would love to see Anastasia. I don't know if we'll ever get Anastasia. Like, yes, Disney owns her now. But I feel like we probably won't. I feel like we'll probably mostly see things that were created as Disney or Pixar and not like later acquisitions. But who knows? I would really like to see Anastasia at some point. We need photographic evidence. Listen, I don't think I have any photos. There's a video. <laughs> There's a video. I don't think it's online. I think it's just like a physical video of it somewhere, but I don't even know where that is right now. That song hits you in the heart every time. <laughs> yeah, it's a very sad song. Yes, I do need Naveen. Your brain is like, do I even know any Disney characters? Honestly, I feel like sometimes it's hard to think of it on the spot. I got the submitted dream snap duty. I did. Listen, we're probably not going to do that one because I'm happy with my dream snap. I do still have my setup. I suppose we could try messing around with it a little bit. Okay, let me know if you can hear me now. Also didn't check to see if my mic is being weird. But I should be back. Okay. That was so annoying. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Well, I do a little bit know what happened. My game just really crashed and it made OBS very mad. So <laughs> here we are back again, uh, getting back to it. And everything should be fine. It sounds weird though. Okay. Um, it's The audio is probably gonna be doubled for a minute. Testing. Testing. Um, okay, wait. I can't tell. I think I know what's wrong. Give me one second. Okay, I reset my mic. Let me know if it still sounds weird. If it does, I might not be able to do anything about it. Sounds good, okay. Let me see about grabbing those elixirs again, because I think, yes. We went away, or it didn't save after that. Techie Tink to the rescue. Listen, I try. I don't know. Uh, I like, <laughs> I kind of always talk to my partner because my partner is the more techie of the two of us. And he always brings up the fact that I know stuff about computers now. And I tell him like, I know exactly the amount that I need to know to do what I do. And pretty much nothing more. So, uh, I can fix minor issues, but anything beyond, like, minor issues, I don't know. On headphones, my voice is coming from one side. Yeah, I don't know. I think the only way I would be able to fix that is to close out OBS. Let me see. Um... I don't know if there's a way for me to fix that. Is 
that has definitely happened before. And I feel like usually I just have to restart the streaming software. Which I could do. Let me pop up a poll. And depending on the response, okay. Depending on the response, I will potentially um, just like restart. No, 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 no. Don't start or add a new option. I really just need the basic yes and no. Do what I need to do to feel most comfy. I appreciate that. You did your best for Dream Snaps, but you have nothing. I know there are definitely a couple videos I've seen recently that have gone over um, like what you can do or use if you don't have the parks items. I haven't watched them, but I feel like that might be nice if you don't have any of the okay, rides to get some ideas. We're here for you. Really strange with headphones. Okay, give me one second, if you don't mind. I am going to be like buffering or a black screen for a second, but I will be right back and hopefully that'll fix the audio. Okay, I should be back and the audio should be back to normal now. Let me know if it's still, if it's still weird. Perfect, okay. Thank you all for hanging around and putting up with, you know, computer things. <laughs> I appreciate it. Ooh, be new, be new, be new. Also, hi, Joey, hello. Oh, we do have a new one. Um, a new piece of an Encanto memory. Sweet. I still haven't finished any of those memories, but I'm very close with a couple of them. Has anybody finished a memory from the Eternity Isle collection yet? You look forward to when I stream? Well, thank you. That's very sweet. You used the castle and the partner statue for your dream snap, and at the right angle you were able to get the Tower of Terror and Woody's house. Nice. Yeah, I think I saw a couple. Um, I haven't looked on any servers at people's dream snap submissions, but I've seen a few in different people's thumbnails. And I've seen a couple that used the castle and the partner statue, and it looked really good. Oh, and thank you for the sip reminder. I have some coffee today. I didn't put enough creamer in, so it's kind of bitter, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what else are we working with besides the orange gems? I do need to talk to Woody. Um, cross some items off our regal to-do list. Okay. Let's take a picture. That will be easy. We can take a candid photo of Mike practicing his jokes in the background. You finished three gardening ones? Oh my goodness. I feel like hopefully that will be me soon because, um, what was the other thing I was going to do? That was quick. I can harvest some raspberries and feed a raven. Um, because now, what am I down to? Eight million star coins? Yeah, like a little bit under nine million star coins, which means I've gone through approximately 15 million star coins since the update. So I'm going to need to start actually farming again. So hopefully those memories will start coming pretty quickly. Where is a raven? Oh, right here. Let me feed you. You also have some coffee? What kind? Not me about to be jealous of the coffee that you have, <laughs> even though I have coffee right now as well. 
Just take this three star meal, that's fine. Not even one, it's so rare for you to get any memories from a memory orb, you mainly just get coins. Same. I, like, probably 95% of the time get coins. Serve a meal in the restaurant, raspberries. Not even close, your best one still needs five pieces. I think I only need one or two pieces for one of them. It's the Stitch one where he looks super evil. That one? I got one game of Scramble Coin against Ana. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to do that right now. It's just not happening. I haven't played Scramble Coin in ages. Mine in the Forest of Valor. I don't want to do that with the elixirs that I have right now. So, oh, you know what I actually should do? Let me go grab Mike. Because I do need to level him up. Is he still somewhere right around here? Yes. A caramel macchiato. I am jealous. She sells sea smells by the seashore. She sells sea smells by the seashore. She sells okay, sea come hang out with me. Just farming wheat over and over. That works too. Um, and let's go to the aisle. Melissa, hello. First time catching a live. You usually have to catch them the next day at work. So you're excited to be here. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm happy you were able to make it. Um, you've not got many done yet, so you really need to start hunting for them. It's just so time consuming. And also, I feel like fishing, I never do because I don't want to do fishing <laughs> very much. Uh, actually, I don't think I can get any orange gems up here unless, oh, I think those topazes counted. Unless they didn't. I don't know. I'll mine up here anyway. Super evil or super cute? No, definitely super evil. You only have 13 regular valley ones. And you play daily, always coins. Yeah, I feel like every time I've completed a memory collection, it's been from spending large amounts of time intentionally only doing that activity over and over and over and over so I could get the memories. Yeah, fishing is not my favorite. Hi, Cassie. Hello, hello. Nina, you got a full memory today. The one with Wally holding up the boot with the plant. That's cute. That's very cute. Oh, also, has anybody decorated in Ancient's Landing yet? Because I was kind of just messing around trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I realized I have no idea how I'm going to structure or decorate Ancient's Landing. Like, absolutely none. And to be fair, it might partially just be because I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself about Ancient's Landing because one thing about me, I love Atlantis, so I feel like I really need to do justice to one of my favorite movies of all time in the way that I decorate it. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Jumping in to play along. Amazing. Have you finished the star path or are you still working on it? I still haven't fixed the key card to get the headband. I have not. But to be fair, I think we played the laugh floor realm the day the update came out. And I spent one day questing with Sully. And other than that, I haven't done any quests or anything from the update. So yeah, I still have the two key cards just sitting in my inventory. I should probably make some more of those um, pickaxe polishes. You made a market there. Kitty, you made an orchard. Nice. 
You suck at decorating. You love all the items, though. You want a marketplace. I thought about doing a market in Ancient's Landing, but I did a huge one in the Glittering Dunes. So I don't know that I really want to have another one here. Um, we make like 10 of these. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, sure. That's fine. You moved Merlin's study to the ruins. You made it look like a school of magic vibe. Nice. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I want up here to just be natural and some ruins and it's hiding behind all of the mess right now, but I want the sword and the stone to be up here. I was going to put Merlin's house down here, but I think I want this like ancient jacuzzi thing up here. And Merlin's house would get in the way. So now I'm thinking about having Merlin's house down here, maybe where our house was. But then I want an area that's like a launch pad for the ancient vehicle things. Like the flying machines. So I don't know what I'm going to do. The part of the steps was the only part that you've done where you're... Oh, that's where your house is. Nice. Where do I have my house? Oh, I have my house on the little island over where we found Eve's thing. Can I find... You know what? I need to look at something. Borderlands, ruins, borderlands, ruins. Oh, it's just the borderlands and the ruins here. Okay, well, let's go to the borderlands then. You really hope they fix the moonstone issue before Wednesday? Wait, what moonstone issue has been happening? You haven't decorated Ancient's Landing. Uh, just know you want the robot to live there and for it to feel very ruiny and sparkly. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, too. I like, again, have a good idea of what I want it to feel like vibes wise, but I don't know how to do that quite yet. You're too lazy to run around finding all the bushes and trees to collect things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I moved all of mine together, too. I, in my main valley... Well, in my main valley right now, I do actually sort of have an orchard because I just moved everything together when I deleted all of the decorations. But I don't usually have one. Okay, I can do some of this stuff. I need an Eternity Isle Spice. Where can I find one? Here. Because I usually just integrate the bushes into my decorating. Plant some vegetables we can also do. Let's take some broccoli. You got the rainbow fox today? Do you love it? I haven't used the rainbow fox in so long. You have Remy's restaurant in front of the two waterfalls over the bridge. It looks nice. And another area, you have Wally and Eve along with a market and a spaceship landing strip and the V8 cafe. That's nice. I do feel like um, Eve and Wally would work really well in Ancient's Landing. I just kind of want to keep it. Um, I don't really want a bunch of buildings in Ancient's Landing, except I am going to have Scrooge and Shea Remy in the, um, what's it called? I don't know, the area that's right by the entrance to the Glittering Dunes and the Wild Tangle. I still don't quite have the area names memorized yet, but we'll get there eventually. Sell two fish. I should have some. Mm, I have seafood. I don't think that counts. Okay, I hope you have a great time with that, Ursula. 
you don't get your dream snap moonstones till like 3 p.m. and you have to close your game and boot it back up. Oh yeah, I always have to close my game and boot it back up to get the moonstones. Uh, is this eel gonna count as a fish? I don't know. Probably not, right? Um, but I'll usually get them early. I just do have to make sure I open my game after the shop refresh time and the dream snaps refresh time. And then I have to close it out all the way. And then I have to open it again. But they usually do show up kind of right away whenever I do that. How's it going? Okay, sell these. Courtyard. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That's what I was going to say, but then I started thinking that's where our home was when it, we first opened this area. Okay, three splinters of fate. Here we go. Kind of nervous about clearing these in case we get a star path duty, but should be okay. Sell three vegetables. Okay, we can do that too. You finished your star path on Friday. You were off work for nine days. So bashed it out. That's amazing. I have to say, I feel like... Actually, let me look at some of the rewards. I feel like... The things that I was most excited about were a little bit front-loaded in the star path. Like, I am excited about this and this arch, I guess. These are in the second half, but like this stuff, I feel kind of eh about. And this stuff, I also feel kind of eh about. Um, so I think that's also why I'm trying to just like finish the star path so it's done. There's not too much that I'm like anxiously anticipating getting still, if that makes sense. You feel like Eternity Isle is really hard for you to decorate. You did make a fairy garden with the flower looking house from the premium shop. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to make a little fairy village um, in the wild tangle here. That's also going to be something we decorate pretty soon. I popped down some items that I thought I was going to use for the different things. So we'll have fairy godmother with her pumpkin things. We'll have a pretty flowery fairy home, and then we'll have the mushroom house. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, I, I had the biggest, like, boost of serotonin when I found out how well these floating lanterns fit right around. Like, oh, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> Usually the footprint of houses make me really mad, but you can, like, curve the floating lanterns right around the mushroom house, over the fence and the lawn, and it just feels so nice. You could get it a little bit better on this side, but I have the arch that's kind of in the way. So I'm just making do, but it feels nice. I feel like sometimes when I've tried to put the floating lanterns by other houses, they sort of just sit oddly like way in front of it. It doesn't like get back up against the house very well, but with the mushroom manor, it works. It works. Um, okay. We still need tentacled seafood. Oh, we only need four more orange gems. Okay, let's go back to... Let me save, actually. And then let's go back to... The main valley. To the glade. How do you get the individual one? The light? It's the time-bending part. I just dropped it from my inventory. You feel the same way, but you do love that the companions can use the little dinner table. Oh, wait, they can? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. What am I doing? Oh, mining. You have everything. You just want moonstones back. Oh, yeah. That is something, too. Need to do the moonstones. You need a bigger forest biome or a second one because you have so many ideas for the forest and not enough room. That's how I feel about the forest as well. And also the meadow. 
Oh, of the lanterns that float? Wait, what do you mean a single one? You hallucinated. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it might have just been like off away from the other ones a little bit. You're having the most difficult time with the Forgotten Lands. You feel you don't have enough spooky items to make it work. I will say for the longest time, I didn't decorate my Forgotten Lands in a very spooky way. It was just kind of dark, kind of purple, like kind of villain core, sort of. Um, Not really spooky. Why did I move this back here? I think I just needed space in my plaza. For the dream snaps but i do feel like we don't quite have enough spooky items to completely deck out the forgotten lands in a spooky vibe oh hey woody i need to speak with you sir I tell Slink about this place. you always save before traveling because the game quits so often when you do since the update my game really like i don't know it has oh, been yeah. super finicky since the update, but <laughs> it's very inconsistently finicky, if that makes sense. Like, we had that one stream where my game crashed like two or three times, and then I've had multiple streams uh -oh. and multiple hours of so long, decorating off stream without any issues. So it's like, I just can never predict what's going to happen with my game, which is what's annoying about it. You're going to try to lighten up your forgotten lands with lighter paths and trees. I think that's nice. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people use like the really light brick path in the forgotten lands to make it lighter. I've seen people use like the um, opal and gem road in the forgotten lands and that looks nice. You can't stay up until four anymore. I mean, I would not recommend it. You have Jack's little area decorated in the Forgotten Lands and the spooky castle, but you recently threw Mike and Sully up there for now. Nice. I really want to make this cute little like town area like suburban. Um, <laughs> like almost suburban outlet mall vibes but more like suburban market village which i don't know if that's something that makes sense to everybody i'm thinking of a very specific place but um i want to do that probably in the meadow but i might have to do it in the plaza with like scrooges remy's the monsters inc Apartment building, Mike and Sully's new home, that kind of stuff. Oh, I still need these. Okay, and I need Simba. Luckily, he's at home. Mike, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna ditch you now. You really want it to be kind of like a witchy, spooky woods type of vibe. Ooh, your forest of valor is a whimsical... F Wait, where's the entrance to this? Listen, this is... <laughs> What I need to do, what I really need to do, I have like four or five sets, I think, for Dream Snaps still up in the valley, so it's making everything so difficult to access. It's taking up so much space. None of them are like the permanent decorations of the places. They're just causing me problems, and this is one of them. I need to get rid of it, but I also at some point do need to decorate Pride Rock. Wait, Simba? Sir, you were not in your house and you can't tell me that you were. I am not who I used okay, to well, be. now you are. Let's hang out. You're not scared to what? Anyway, I don't know what he said, but that was concerning. <laughs> All right. Oh, I know what he said. Okay, never mind. Um, to the glade, we need to find some squid and then I'll probably go to the aisle and try to fit. I can't fit around that way and try to get some octopus because I feel like those will also count for the tentacled things. It's just a bit hard when you don't have the items you're looking forward to more spooky items. I definitely feel like we'll get them at some point.
the companions can use the plate of spaghetti. Like, if you place it by a companion house, or the ones that are just out in the wild will use them, or how does that work? How many more of these do I have? Oh, three. I do want to put- wait, where was that that I wanted to do that? Oh, um, down by Mini Casita, I think I want to put a bunch of companion homes and fill them with critters. I know we don't have Antonio yet, but I feel like the area would be overflowing with animals because of Antonio. The ones in the companion homes can use it. Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. I feel that the fishing tasks are my least favorite. I also do need to cook 10 things. You've been wondering why does the cauldron show green in it when you buy it from Scrooge, but when you place it, there isn't anything in it. I feel like it's one of two things. It's either um, a glitch and it should show green, but the item's broken. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Um, in which case, hopefully they would fix it. But the other option is that it's just an old or outdated version of the item as an image, kind of like how in the house menu, Bell and Beast house shows as an old version of their house, and I'm pretty sure Anna and Kristoff's house also shows in, as an old version of their house. They just didn't update the icon. But with the cauldron, I feel like it probably is just broken and they need to fix it. Not dissimilar to like the fountains not having water and then they added water to the fountains. You feel like the fishing tasks are a form of torture. Oh no. Hi, Brian. How are you? You feel like the cauldron could have been a functional cooking area. Ooh, and it would turn green when you go to cook. I hope they make it a functional cooking area. Also, the like little campfire thing they gave us with Eternity Isle. I wish that one was. Like, if Scar's stove thing is a functional cooking area, I don't understand why a cauldron wouldn't be. Or why that campfire area wouldn't be. But that's just me. Okay. Time to see where I can get these from. The docks and the overlook. Okay. You currently have the tentacled one and the something that's puffy one. I forgot about that. That's like a five fugu one or something, right? I feel like it always rains in my valley, but as soon as I get that fugu task, I'm sure I will be in a drought for longer than California in a Cinderella story. You just love for more of the items to be functional, for sure. More functional items, I think, would be really nice. Or even if you can't, like, really use them, the items that have animations to them, I think that's really nice. If we had more items like that, that would be fun. You have the one to catch 30 fish in the Frosted Heights. Wait, I don't think I've had that one yet. I think I had something kind of like that for the Forest of Valor. But if they have that for the Frosted Heights, too, oh no. You're distraught about it? Not the Cinderella story reference? Yes. I will take pretty much any opportunity to talk about Hillary Duff's 
drought monologue from Cinderella Story. Please be new. Also, um, equally emotionally distressing is um, Evie's monologue to Mal in Descendants 3 and um, Bridget Mendler's monologue in Lemonade Mouth. They really just do something, you know? Hi, Nikki. How are you? You love my tour videos. Oh, thank you. Am I redoing my valley with seeing how the houses are placed now? Yes, listen. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I went through and deleted everything in my valley. And then I placed the houses where I thought I was going to want them in my new design of the valley. But we've been shuffling them around all over the place to make room for dream snaps. And I haven't actually done any valley redecorating yet because I've been working on decorating Eternity Isle. So the valley is a mess, which kind of like gives me a little bit of anxiety. It's kind of like when your house is a mess and you feel more tense and then you clean it and you like feel more relaxed. It's sort of that kind of a vibe. I do feel a bit uncomfortable with my valley in its current state, but I think I want to decorate Eternity Isle first. After catching like five fish, you're over it and bored. I feel that. It's another reason why I enjoy streaming, because even if I'm not having a great time catching fish, at least we can laugh about it together. Hi, Heidi. How are you? You feel like the favorite things are so annoying? They can be, because they take a couple days at least. Okay, I'm really just going to fish this blue bubble and then... What was the other area that had octopus? Hmm, I don't remember. Well, that wasn't even one. So that's not great. Need five more tentacled seafood. Uh, no, not you. Back, back, back. I think I only need the one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I unlocked the green and white uh, cobra. So now I only need that black and gray monkey. And I'm so pleased. Uh, oh, the overlook and the docks. Wait, where am I now? The overlook? Where is there to fish at the overlook? Picking up mushrooms and garlic was a real pain. Oh. I feel like the mushrooms aren't usually that bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know. The overlook down here you can fish. Um because you have the daily spawns of the like giant mushroom items in sunlit and well sometimes in sunlit I think yeah and in the meadow and in the glade and those usually count towards mushrooms that you pick up as well but the garlic took a while to respawn I'm so sorry, I have the hiccups, so if you're hearing those, I apologize. Okay, let's... what else do we have to do? What do we have going on here? Oh, cook the fanciest of meals. Still, we need more things there. One minute! Okay, <laughs> we're gonna ignore that because I think it's just doing the lag thing with the timing. I know we've been with Simba for way more than a minute. Let's go cook some meals. A minute. Oh my goodness. Thank you all for 42 likes on the stream, by the way. I appreciate it. Let's just make... I don't know. Let's do Aurora's birthday cake. Not a banana ice cream. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do this birthday cake. You don't think those counted this time around? You used vacuums too, but the respawn rate is so slow. Yeah, the vacuum items that I picked up did count towards my total, but it still took a long time for the garlic to respawn. Okay. 
Okay, I think that was three, four. You know what I would really like? I would really like skins for Remy's and Scrooge's that made them look different. Well, obviously, that's the point of skins. I would really like skins for the wells. And I would really like... There was one more thing that I was thinking of, but I can't think of right now. Oh, Goofy's stall. I would really like skins for Goofy's stall. Those three things. You want the Incredisquirrel? Uh, was that in the trailer for things that are coming to the premium shop? I can't remember. Oh no! I almost just threw my controller. I think that was 10. Or more. Give a very grouchy lion his favorite gift. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to do that. We need more seafood. Dream snaps, Simba, two minutes, um, and Dreamlight duties. Okay, let's try to go back to the glade again. Oh, you meant the mushroom structures didn't count for you. Oh, I got you. I got you. Sometimes by the time I read chat, it's been a minute and I don't really understand the context anymore. You'd like more skins for the companion houses? Me too. We need some just like generic ones. I like the ones that we got with Eternity Isle better than the base ones, but I think both of them are just way too stylized. Well, that was rude. Giving me a herring in that blue circle. Um, but yeah, they're both too stylized. It's hard to make them fit in most areas. All right, Simba, I know you're not a fisher and there's really no reason why you should give me any assistance with this. However, I feel like it would be nice if you could give me some good energy and we could just catch these squid. Ooh. Hi, Banjo. How are you? Oh, wait, we got a new one. Is this a Nightmare Before Christmas one? Yeah, it is. I don't know what this scene is off the top of my head. And I don't think I've looked at the wiki to see which the memories from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection were. That's cool. The fact that I'm actually getting memories from fishing because I never fish. You wish we could move Goofy stall to wherever we want. You'd love to make a little market for Goofy. Imagine just an entire... <laughs> and if you could move them from the aisle to um, the valley or whatever, you just have like 15 Goofy stalls. Not actually 15. It would be fewer than that. But um, just so many Goofy stalls in one place. Hi, Lindsay. Hello, hello. And Benjamin, hi. We are working on the star path right now. The idea is to work on it until we um, are time locked out of it. Right now, we're trying to catch some squid and some octopus. It's taking us a long time. It would help if I had a fishing buddy. It actually would not because I don't think the extras from Fishing Buddies count towards the star path. Oh, a stomach bug. I'm sorry. You put a chair beside all of Goofy's stalls. He runs around so much from all the islands, biomes. At any time of day, he needs some rest. I've done that before with Goofy's stalls. I think most of the time I put, like, one of the stools from the Tangled collection there. And it's so cute when he actually ends up sitting at it. I don't know if I have a picture of it, but I've definitely caught him sitting at those stools from time to time. 
and it's really really cute okay let's just run around see if we have any blue circles that popped up no okay well what dreamlight duties do we have we can maybe work on those at least rock spots in the forest catch three fish in the meadow and sunlit serve a meal in the restaurant add decorations to the glade okay well you know what we can add some decorations to the glade um i'm excited to decorate this i've never had my pillars in a straight line like this but i think um if space permits i am actually going to leave them like this and the goal is going to be to end up um like decorating sort of around the pillars with some of the foliage from their biome i think that would be kind of fun so i'm just gonna pop a couple things just some trees and i don't know a bush i am so certain that i will be moving these but for now, we can leave them. Oops, ow. You made a market in your sunlit plateau and it looks so cute. You just wish it was actually functional. Oh, yeah, I think that would be fun to have more functional stall types. And also to be able to move them from the aisle to the valley. Like, I wish we could move Wally's garden. I wish we could move Gaston's stall and Kristoff's stall. I think that would be nice. Bring two gifts. Simba, it's your lucky day. Actually, it's not. <laughs> um, actually, it's not. Let me just bring something to Mike. Uh, it'll be such a minuscule boost to his friendship, but we do need to level him a little bit, so might as well. What would the skins look like? I don't know exactly. I would like a like wooden sort of skin for the wells. Yeah, something would wooden i think would be nice um for what was the other thing i said oh scrooges and shay remy something more understated you want some raspberries thank you for the sip reminder not the three fishing tasks at one time i know and I was thinking about doing those because they're pretty quick, but we're doing so much fishing try to get, get, trying to get the squid, hello, that I don't want to also do more fishing. Does it help the hangout duties if you're doing the job you put them in? Like, does it make the time go faster? No. Hi, Nuggy. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm having a pretty good day today. It's not too bad. Uh, let's go mine in the forest. I feel like it says mine four rock spots, but usually if I mine two or three, it still counts it. I don't know why, but I've just noticed that somewhat recently. Oops. You hope we get a crystal or gem stall next? Yes. I feel like that would be a really fun thing to get with um, the seven dwarves though. If we ever got them. I a little bit wish that when we got Daisy, we would get like a little, I don't know. Cause didn't Daisy and Minnie run the boutique together? That would be kind of cute. Oh, yes, my inventory is so full. I'm sorry. Let me sell some of this stuff. Do I have any ideas on what Tiana's or Mulan's house may look like? You're trying so hard to imagine, but you're so unsure. I don't really know what Tiana's house is going to look like unless they make her live in Tiana's place or Tiana's palace. I feel like both of those are stated or written in the movie, but I think it's Tiana's place at the park, so I think it's mostly called Tiana's place, um, which I could see happening. In fact, I feel like that's 
somewhat likely, although I will be upset because I feel like Tiana deserves to run her own establishment, not just live in her restaurant. So I don't know. And actually, I kind of want to keep these fish from Eternity Isle. And Mulan? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can't wait for the video on my tour for Eternity Isle and all the new skin houses. Oh my goodness. You watched the previous indoor video on the initial skins like a hundred times. Wait, really? Thank you so much. I feel like that video is not like the most popular, but I had such a fun time um, decorating the interiors and I'm looking forward to doing that again. So we'll be we'll be getting into that pretty soon. OK, I need more spots. And I am probably going to be uploading a tour of my glittering dunes maybe this week. I'm just very, uh, it's, it's been a minute since I did a voiceover for a video, so I feel very out of practice. But yeah, we'll have some video tours coming soon since we've been doing more decorating recently. Okay, where's the squirrel? Squirrel. Okay, trapped. For you, it's counting things that you're doing as the Eternity Isle and you're not even there. Oh, wait for the tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens sometimes, I think. You loved the house style video. Wait, really? I feel like, yeah, it's going to be really interesting when we go back to decorating interiors because it's been a really long time since I did that. And we have a lot of like cottagey style homes now. So eight minutes, <laughs> not eight minutes. So um, I feel like. It's going to be an adventure to try to um, make them different from each other. And I do love a decorating challenge, so that'll be fun. Hi, Jingle Bells. How are you? Daisy runs a cafe or a diner from what you found. OK, I was just thinking of the show um, the, that was on. I think it was still G Disney Junior way back when. It was like the Minnie's boutique show or something. And I think she and Daisy ran it together. I don't know. I only really saw it a little bit. My brother was a youngin at that point in time. You have a feeling they'll have Tiana's house be her restaurant because she lived in a tiny little house before she got married. Yeah, I really... In my soul, I feel like she's going to end up living in her restaurant, but I do feel sad about it. You wonder how much Dreamlight the Mulan Realm will be. How much was this one? This Monsters, Inc. one? I don't remember. It'll probably be... Actually, you know what? Let me harvest these and then let me go into the castle. I feel like we have one more door on that level. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Mulan realm ends up costing the same as the Monsters, Inc. realm. You put Rapunzel in the glade and use the trees from Eternity Isle. Nice. Uh, one more up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have this door. So I feel like it's possible that it'll cost the same amount of Dreamlight as the Monsters, Inc. one. But who knows? Are we going to get Daisy? Um, allegedly. <laughs> I can't say yes for sure. However, using context clues, it's very, it seems very likely that she's who we're going to be getting in the next update. They have not confirmed it as such, but all signs point to yes is my eight ball answer <laughs> for that one. Um, night thorns, catch fish. Uh, I really don't want to play scramble coin. Let's just catch three fish in the sunlit plateau. That'll be fast. 
They still have the boutique shorts on Disney Junior. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a very, very long time. But I remember they had the show back in the day when I was either babysitting or had a, a sibling who was in that age range. In Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, they also had the boutique. Okay. Oops. Maybe it'll be like Scrooge's and she'll have a house restaurant situation. I wouldn't mind so that. I wouldn't. Seems to go up by 250 Dreamlight each door. Really? Hi, Kitty. Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, Christian. Welcome in. Be new, be new. Does anyone have any, um, any, <laughs> any quotes that they think about anytime they say a certain phrase? Um, like there are certain quotes that I, they just like take up so much space in my brain that I think about them almost all the time. Um, and if I say a certain phrase, it will automatically like pop up in my head. Does that happen to anybody else? Work a shift at the restaurant. Okay, well... Uh, okay, it's almost 3.30 now, so let's see who we can feed, and maybe at 4 o'clock we'll have some new people. But 7 is a lot of people. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that in the next hour. Let's see. You tried Googling to see what Daisy's house looks like yesterday and got your Toontown ready, but you only saw her cafe diner. Yeah, I don't know how much of a, like, very specific house she has. Souffle, mushroom, pizza, and seafood soup. Let me see if I can remember that. For you, it's song lyrics. Oh, it's so that for me as well. Mostly um, musical theater songs, to be honest. Is the souffle in here? Yeah. Literally every movie or show quote always. <laughs> also songs yeah it's like that just happens to me so much and then i have to fight the urge to say it or sing it um seafood soup wait what was the other one we needed oh don't tell me seafood soup souffle and i don't remember we're just gonna give these first oh mushroom pizza thank you i would not have remembered that Okay, all the scroll. Mushroom pizza. You watched the video that I did on the dunes? It looks awesome. You like it when it does that? Wait, what? Which video on the dunes? You have a supernatural quote for every situation. That makes sense. That show went on for an eternity. Hi. So I feel like there would be lots of quotes. That's kind of how I feel about Glee. I used to be a big fan of Glee. Ah. Hey, thanks. Oh, I shouldn't have cleared that. Oh well. Hey. Um, I have your seafood soup. There you go. You thought Kitty was just randomly saying mushroom pizza. That would also be fine. Maybe that's what was being eaten. I don't know that I've ever had mushroom pizza before. Okay. Can't do this. We need more squid and stuff. Um, okay. Let's go back to the glade. For you and your sister, it's always American Horror Story quotes. Oh, I've never seen American Horror Story. I don't really like scary things. I don't even really like very suspenseful things. I just, I don't do well with it. But I always have the desire to watch them, if that makes sense. Like, every time I think about American Horror Story, I feel like I want to watch it. And that I would really enjoy it. But I know if I actually put it on... I would not have a good time. So it's like I'm always fighting with myself about it. 
You love Glee. You always quote Glee around your boyfriend and he looks at you like you're crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just very quotable. They use Donald's boat. Wait. You think like Daisy's going to live in Donald's boat? Listen, I wouldn't be completely against it. I would be a little bit sad for Daisy, but I feel like I would move past it and I would be like, okay, we don't have another building. So I would be okay with it overall. Daisy is already attached to Donald's bow. I know, I really feel in my soul that we're probably, like, that's probably actually her. And we're probably gonna have a quest to, I don't know, animate, reanimate her or something? Because she's not coming in a realm update. So she's either just gonna pop up somehow, a la Jack Skellington or Vanellope, or, She's been trapped on the boat this entire time. If Minnie and Mickey get their own house, Daisy better get her own house. See, I agree. However, we have so many houses. So many houses, so many buildings. And I really cause the problems for myself by wanting to have all of the premium shop houses out all of the time. I don't like to have them stored away. I, ha I like to actually have them out. So that takes up a lot of space, but I'm already counting down the months. I'm like, when are we getting the next expansion? <laughs> we haven't even finished the storyline of this one. When are we getting the next expansion? So we have another world, so I have more space to put these houses. What if her head just randomly starts moving when you walked by it? Oh no. That would be like out of a horror movie. Still no blue bubbles. Okay, well, let's fish these two. Give them some time to regenerate. The creator of Glee also did American Horror Story. Both shows are so silly, you really like them. I feel like that's another reason why I want to watch it. It's Ryan Murphy, right? Ryan Murphy also did The Politician on Netflix, which I found really funny. Um, but also I'm just a fan of Ben Platt in general, so I was going to like it. Do I have any suggestions for decorating outside of the Haunted Mansion? You have creative block with it. Um, with the Haunted Mansion, I usually like keeping it pretty simple in front of it. Um, I think... Huh. Did I have the Haunted Mansion in my last Valley tour? I don't think I did. It might not have come out yet, but I generally like to have just like a long fancy pathway with um, the nice big glade trees, like some of these. Well, mostly these kind of lining it. I feel like that looks very fancy. Um... I've seen people use like fountains to make a big courtyard. What else have I seen? But I don't know. It's kind of one of those houses that I feel like is so pretty to look at. Like it's just so nicely done that I don't like to have a whole lot around it because I feel like it just takes away from it. There are some buildings like that where I almost feel like the building is the decoration. I don't know if that makes sense. The Haunted Mansion feels that way to me, sort of. But also, I have seen some really good speed builds um, or, like, valley designs that had the Haunted Mansion. One that I'm thinking of off the top of my head is from a creator called... I'm not... Dead Jet? Let me see if I can find this, actually. Brief intermission. This was a long time ago. Um, Haunted Mansion. Is this what I was thinking of? I'm trying to find it. 
to see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was ages ago. Let me mute this. Let me drop this link. This was a cool Haunted Mansion build. If you are interested in a Haunted Mansion video. You made space for Daisy's house beside Minnie's? With a picnic area between them. That's cute. Yeah, I have a space over. I mean, well, nothing is decorated in my meadow yet, but I did leave a space by by the rest of the Toons houses to put uh, Daisy's house. Thanks for coming to stream, Banjo. I hope you have a nice nap. Oops. You need mushroom decorations? You haven't placed the mushroom house down yet because you have no clue how to decorate the inside. Oh, I went with a very, um, like, hodgepodge, colorful, eclectic vibe inside the mushroom manor. And I liked that. I thought it was fun. I played off of the colors of the, um, fireplace that has sort of the mushrooms growing on it. You think I featured it a bit in the interiors video? Oh, that's true. Yeah, in my um, I decorated every premium shop house video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The outside, I think, is in that. You've seen a lot of abandoned inspired things for the outside of the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, for sure. Can I reach this from here? Oh, yeah. Nice. You finally got to experience the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, decorated with the Nightmare Before Christmas theme, and it was truly a bucket list item crossed out. That's amazing. Yeah, I've never... I don't think been to the parks when the Haunted Mansion was decorated like that. I don't know if that's like something they do every year seasonally, like around Halloween or something. I've never been to the parks in the fall, I don't think. I've been around Christmas, but I don't think it was decorated like that then. I hope Simba is enjoying this time that we've spent together. It's been a long time. I feel like he's cooking the books with the number. Of minutes, anyway. Are you getting another world with the next part of the expansion? Um, not with the next part of A Rift in Time. But, uh, I would imagine that we are with the next DLC that they drop. Because in the showcase when they were talking about A Rift in Time, they were talking about how Eternity Isle is just one of multiple other worlds. Here, so. I think we'll probably get another one. I feel like it might be the end of this year, but it also seems like they're running a little bit behind schedule for things. So could be early next year or something. Also, they haven't really told us the frequency actually with which they plan to drop the DLC, but it would just make sense to me if it was like a yearly thing. Hassan, hello, hello. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You gave yours an old Warren house in Nola vibes to your haunted mansion in the Glade. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do that as well. Oh, they only decorated in Disneyland. Gotcha, gotcha. What did I do on the inside of the haunted mansion? Um, it's all in my premium shop house interiors tour that's on the channel but I have um sort of like an art gallery in the main room I have a library 
I have um, a room inspired by the Haunted Mansion ride and movie, and I have a room that's just like a bedroom. Oh, girl! Who would have thought fishing for tentacled creatures would take so long? There's not even really that much that we can do in the star path apart from this. Let's pivoty pop back to the glade again. You've only ever been to Disneyland, but they keep it up from, you believe, October, December. Oh, up until Christmas. Hmm. I do need to go to Disneyland at some point. It's probably not going to be anytime soon, but I would really love to go. I've never been. You would love the next DLC to be Ancient Greece and have Hercules and Percy Jackson stuff. If we had a biome inspired by Olympus, I might cry. I really might. I would love that. You feel like you're my manager because you know, <laughs> know when I did content. That's fair. Okay, oh, here's another one. Please be our last one. I feel like it's not, but it, it could be. It really could be. You had to make a Zen garden for the Star Path duty and you were disappointed. Oh, I heard about that. And there's also like a DJ booth or something that you have to make as well. Is that right? Simba, move. Be new. Not new. You just finished decorating the inside of Belle's library house. You did a coffee shop in the main room and three different vibes of libraries. That's cute. Yeah, I want to do like a bookshop sort of vibe, a library vibe, um, a <laughs> cozy reading room vibe, and like a cafe vibe, I think. <laughs> All of them with lots of bookshelves. I'm very excited to decorate that one. But I've also done so many libraries that I'm a little bit intimidated to start decorating that one because, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I need to keep it fresh, keep it interesting, but yeah. how many libraries can one really do with the items that we have in this game, you know? Hi, Stacy. Hello, hello. It's so worth it. Disneyland is super cute. You're a California native, but you had to move to the Midwest. So being back was so awesome. That's great. Disneyland is so expensive. Oh, yes. Although I think actually Disney World, I just saw this and I don't know if it's like a limited time offer or if they're like, it's going to be a more permanent offer. I mean, granted, if you don't live in the area, it's it's still going to be expensive for like finding a place to stay if not the resort someplace else, like traveling to there. But I think they were having $59 tickets for Disney World. I just saw something about that recently. And all things considered, that's kind of a steal. I mean, it's still so expensive. I couldn't afford to just like pop over to Disney World, even if the tickets were $59, but kind of a deal. For me, the limit does not exist. <laughs> I certainly hope so. You just bought yourself a Herculade travel mug from the Disney store. Cute. That's amazing. Hercules is so good. That movie is just so good. You're going to Disneyland Paris. Oh, amazing for the birthdays. That will be fun. I've heard great things about Disneyland Paris. But I've never been. I've never been to Europe before. Imagine the joy we're going to feel when we're done fishing for squid. Also, thank you everybody who's liked the stream so far. I appreciate it. And if you haven't liked the stream but are having a good time, please do press the like button. It helps the channel out so much, honestly. 
You're excited to decorate the bookshop, especially with the new bookcases from Nightmare Before Christmas and the Nook from Monsters, Inc. So I am really kind of conflicted about whether I want to use the bookshelves from Nightmare Before Christmas in the bookshop. I don't know. I love the ladder. I love that they're cluttered. I just don't know if I love, like, the fact that they're Nightmare Before Christmas, you know? But if I don't use them in Belle's bookshop building, I will probably... I don't have a library in the Before Christmas house. I could make one. I could switch one of the rooms out. Or I have a room that has a couple bookshelves in it. I could switch those bookshelves out potentially. Ugh, I'm no sunshine. Die, you're about to work on the star path as well. Amazing. So many bookish options in the game, but we need more. Agreed. We could always use more. Oh my goodness, so I actually opened The Sims 4 <laughs> yesterday, I think, for the first time in months. I've been talking about wanting to play The Sims 4 again for months. Um, yay, we've done it! Um, and I spent hours yesterday just creating a family. And then today I was on The Sims again for probably like two hours, just um, fixing a couple things about their house fish for something that's po are you kidding me okay well <laughs> um what was i doing oh making like some slight adjustments to a house that i got off of the gallery and using mc command center to go through and like modify their relationships with each other so i could start off with like something already existing i don't know i don't really love all the time opening the sims and starting just like a fresh save with a brand new sim because it's like there's nothing established yet i like playing with a family that already has interesting relationships with each other and like a set of skills already and they don't have to be high but just like something that already gives them a bit of personality i think that's fun so i was doing that and now i am set to hopefully at some point actually do some gameplay we'll see if that happens um okay simba i really need you to get a move on because i know for a fact we've been hanging out for more than 20 minutes um we're getting closer to four but not yet so i can't do this uh let's actually let's go find scar and we can give him what he wants even though we're not going to be able to finish that at least get some of the gifts done. Your favorite Disney movie is Hercules and your best friend got you a pendant necklace that looked like Herc's medallion he got when he was a baby. You almost cried. That's cute. Perhaps I have a, like a pin that's that medallion. I really like it. Uh, what do you want? Brilliant blue starfish. Fish, salad, and prisma shrimp. Okay. Blue starfish, prisma shrimp, and fish salad. We can do that. Just taunting me with the fishing now. I know, especially since it's not raining. And as previously stated, it rains all the time in my valley. Like anytime I'm trying to do dream snaps, anytime stream is about to start, it's always raining. And there hasn't been a single lick of rain, not a single droplet of water today because it knew it simply knew that i was going to need the rain uh what am i looking for a fish salad fish salad there we go the idea is to do rooms based on genre so the mbc vibe works for a horror thriller vibe wait what is that for Your 
staying at the new Marvel Hotel. Ooh, I don't think I even knew there was a Marvel Hotel. That's really fun. Um, transfer. We'll take one of you and we'll take one of, oops, one of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll put these away. Oh, hey, monkey. The monkey's in here. You're going on vacation next week. Amazing. I've been getting your valley ready for the mess of night thorns and splinters you'll probably find when you get back. Yes, but imagine how satisfying it's going to feel to clear all of that out. It's going to be so nice. I'm ten times the King Mufasa was. I have something to give you. Hi, new. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Gameplay is going OK. I feel like we've got a lot done, actually, um, in the star path. Maybe. I don't know. A fair amount. But now we're a little bit stuck with um, our timer hanging out with Simba taking forever and quite a few of the tasks time locking us. It happened faster than I thought it would. So we'll see what happens. What are the differences between Disney World and Disneyland? Uh, well, Disney World is in Florida. Disneyland is in California and they have different actual like parks or areas within them. There are some of the same rides, but there are also like a lot of differences. Like Disney World at um, Animal Kingdom has like the whole Pandora world. Uh, Disneyland has Marvel stuff, I think, that Disney World doesn't have. Um, Disney World has Epcot. Disneyland has the Pal Around. That's pretty cool. I've never actually been to Disneyland. Um, okay. What can we do with Simba that's going to take up some time? You know what? I feel like now is as good a time as any to plant a bit of a pumpkin farm because we really actually could use some money. How many hours do I have in this game? Oh, I checked recently. I think I'm around 1400 hours. I think so. I checked the other day, but I can't remember. I'm in the uh, 50s of total full days played. 50 something days of uh, playtime. Yes, the time locks. You're glad I'm making progress. Thank you. Yeah, the time locks are truly wild and crazy. Disneyland California Adventure has the Avengers area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has San Francisco area. Oh, I didn't know that. And some other pretty cute areas. Yeah, they definitely have different spots. There is some similarity, but there are also a lot of differences. You put your pumpkin patch in the sunlit and put the pumpkin house in there. And it's the one thing you'll never change about your valley. Ooh, I feel like never say never. But also, I love that. Um... I, the one thing I thought I would never ever change is where I had Stitch's house. I did recently move that. So I think, yeah. Why I couldn't have created Pretty much everything in my valley by the time I decorate it next will be all original, which original like meaning it will all be something that I've never had before, which is going to be kind of fun. Disney World rides are the classic rides, while Disneyland has the same rides, but they have a different twist on the ride, like Small World. I don't know about that, because I know Disneyland existed before Disney World. And I think there are some rides that originated in Disneyland, 
that crossed over, and there some, are some rides that originated in Disney World that crossed over as well, I believe. But I do know that Disneyland existed before Disney World existed. Okay, I think I'll maybe do like two more rows or so. Simba, move out the way. Ooh, what are the chances that this digging memory is going to be new? Sometimes I forget that you can get memories from digging because I don't really do it very often. Oh wait, I didn't see that, but I also don't think I get the reference, Giddy. You really need a large open biome you can make a theme park in besides the meadow where you currently have it. But you don't feel like you have enough room anywhere else. Oh. Yeah, I feel like we have so many things in the game right now. That finding space can be really challenging. Especially, like, I will say, I think we have a lot of room. I think to a certain extent, it's how you use the space that we do have. Like some people have a decorating style where things are a lot more spread out. I tend to mostly fall into that camp, um, but I feel like we do have a lot of room to fit things. It just has to be very intentionally done, which can be a challenge. And things sometimes have to be a little bit more squishy than I like, for instance. Oh, easy A. I have seen that once. Um, so I'm not like the most knowledgeable about it. You know what I've had the desire to watch recently, though? Um, the Amazing Spider-Man movies with Andrew Garfield. Why? I think because I've just been thinking about Tick, Tick, Boom a lot more recently. For some reason. And they both have Andrew Garfield. That's pretty much it. That's the reason. Okay. Time to plant... You heard that all the Spider-Man movies are coming back to theaters? Wait, really? I did not hear this. I don't ever really go to the theaters. Like, I do every so often, but... Uh, I mean, every so often is a little dramatic. Usually when I do, it's like... Because I intentionally want to support something in that way. Like, usually if it's a movie that I want to see, that I just, like, want to see... I'll wait until it comes out on streaming or on digital, but every now and then. If I want to be like, yes, the people like this. <laughs> the people enjoy this. I will go to see something in theater. <laughs> love those versions of Spidey and you love Andrew Garfield. He's so chaotic. I don't know anything about him as a person whatsoever, but... Uh, the few projects that I've seen him in, I really enjoy. So you cry? Wait. I want to watch them so I cry? I mean, I would. That can be pretty nice sometimes, though. You're unsure of one, but you've been seeing it all over TikTok. You only go to the theaters to watch the latest horror movies or, like, campy movies. Like Lisa Frankenstein. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't really go to the theaters very often, but, um... I don't know. Uh... Yeah, it's a good time. It can be a good time. It's also just expensive. You really want to go see Inside Out 2? Ooh, Encanto was so good in theaters. I didn't see Encanto in theaters. Did they re-release that in theaters somewhat recently, or did I make that up? I feel like they have been re-releasing movies in theaters recently like some of the ones that happened 
kind of during the pandemic and a little bit afterwards. Finally, Simba. Goodbye. Look, Nala wants to hang out with you. Go play with your wife. Aww. Wife? Mate? No, um... Go do whatever you're gonna do. Um, to Sully... Let's hang out. Some of the biomes like Frosted Heights and Dazzle Beach might seem big, but both have pretty narrow areas. Hmm. I definitely feel like Dazzle Beach has super narrow areas. I haven't super noticed that with the Frosted Heights, but I could kind of see it now that I'm thinking about it. They have been lately, you think, because there are so few new movies coming out? I don't know, are there? I feel like there have been a lot of new movies coming out. Just like, not um, as many like huge box office films, if that makes sense. I feel like most of the movies that have been coming out recently have been like more low key. Okay. What do we have to do now? Be something we can complete. Pick some fungi. Okay. That's going to take ages. I feel like we might end up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's uh, let me do this first, actually. And then we'll go to Remy's and see if there are people we can feed. Pre-COVID, you used to go to the theater almost every Friday after work. I when did I? There was definitely a period of time where I would go to the theaters a lot because where I lived, they had like five dollar matinee tickets on weekdays and I was a student and my job was like. It wasn't like a weekday nine to five job, so I would have weekdays open a lot. Um, so I would go to the theater a lot then. Okay, yeah, those mushrooms did not count, so we gotta wait for those to respawn, which is gonna take... who forever. You loved the Inside Out 2 trailer, you can't wait to see it. I- wait, am I stuck? No, okay. Um, I didn't watch the full trailer. I watched the teaser trailer they released a couple months back, but I usually don't watch full trailers of movies. But I'm kind of excited about Inside Out 2. I think I will wait until it comes out on Disney Plus, though. Okay, we have two people here. Coleslaw and sautéed mushrooms. That's not going to be enough people. Your theaters in your town do a $5 movie Tuesday, so you don't have to break the bank to see a movie. Yeah, that's so nice. Um, sautéed mushrooms. I'm pretty sure it's just mushrooms and butter, but still. Ooh, you're at 10,000 almost. You have another 5,000 or so to go. You're making some good progress, Wolfie. Okay, there we go. You were a Stubbs member for the subscription. That's pretty solid. I've never done one of those before. I've never done the math to see like how many movies I would have to see for it to be worth it. Hi. Turning Red was originally supposed to come out in theaters. You saw the previews and posters when you went to see Encanto and you were so sad it went straight to Disney Plus. Oh, I don't even remember like the release of turning red oh, hey there i feel like one day i just saw it and i was like oh no i think i saw ads on youtube actually now that i think about it um i have your order goodbye okay well um here's the thing One point five movies per like what month? Oh, okay, okay. I was like per week. 
<laughs> I like that's a lot. I don't know if I could swing 1.5 movies per week. We can't do this until it rains. We can't do this until tomorrow. This until tomorrow. Um, the only wait five out of seven. Okay, the only thing we could do is our dream snap if we wanted to redo it. Um. Do I have a desire to try to redo this? I'm not sure. I really don't know. Um, you know what? Let's just buy some things as we ponder. Pick some mushrooms. Well, they're only in the glade, right? I have to wait for them to respawn. Let's buy these things. That's amazing. Don't redo it. Oh, thank you. I do like it. I mean, I still have the set and everything. I didn't take it down yet, but... I'm still not sure if I want to redo it. You would just wait, do some decorating instead. I could. Let me get all of these. Um, am I gonna wait on those? I'm just gonna get these. I feel like if I don't, I will forget that I have them still to redeem. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do this. Just wait until Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I'm not in a rush, so I feel like I will just wait until Wednesday. Mother Gothel wants potato leek soup. She has to wait for the potato to grow. Do you have any of the growth elixirs? Or are there any, like, actual potatoes for sale? Sometimes in the valley, they'll have the actual crop for sale, not just the seeds. Okay, let's get these two. Let's just check all of this stuff out. Why not? I really haven't seen any of this stuff. I haven't really watched anyone's streams. Um... Oops. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I felt like there was like a button that you could press to just view your new stuff, but for some reason I couldn't get to it and it kept bringing me to the menu. Anyway, um, uh, maybe just all. And no, 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 no. There's an easier way to do this. And it's in fact filtering by the star path. There we go. I love these filters. They're so convenient. The lady in the tramp motif is so cute. I'm going to make another tank top. <laughs> I'm going to make another tank top. Um, adorable skirt. OK. What's everyone's opinion about this? Ignore the fact that it's clipping. That's just because I'm wearing a touch of magic shirt, I think. It could be my character's body type, but I'm pretty sure it's just a touch of magic shirt. Uh, what's our opinion on this door skirt? I'll wait for everyone to say, and then I will share my thoughts, because I do have thoughts. Ooh, this cardigan, though? This cardigan is hitting. I'm a big fan of this one. With just, like, a white top underneath it. Um... Why don't we have just basic things? That's my question so much of the time. Like, why do we not just have a generic white tank top? Why do we have to make one with Touch of Magic? It's cute! Not a fan of the skirt. You love it. You wore it in your critter photo. Seems kind of lackluster. Not a fan. Not sure how to style the skirt. I haven't thought about styling it. I'm just obsessed with this cardigan. Anyway, um, let me take off the cardigan, though. And look at the skirt again. And I will say my thoughts. Um, my thoughts about the skirt. I do imagine it might be a little bit difficult to style. I don't mind the length. I think it's kind of cute. Uh, the issue I have with the skirt is kind of the same issue I have with this jacket. And it's that the texture looks weird. Does anyone agree with that? Like, I kind of like the the glossiness of the doors. I think that's kind of interesting, although I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be like fabric wise. But like the main blue of the skirt, the texture just looks so flat and like 
almost like clayish or like I don't know like it doesn't look like it's supposed to be any kind of fabric it almost looks like rubber or plastic or something and it's the same way I feel about the jacket like something about it just makes me feel uncomfortable because of that reason you have mixed emotions with the skirt but you love the cardigan that's how I feel too there's so many clothes items they could add. You don't know how we hardly get new clothes every update. Agreed, agreed. Uh, you want to see Inside Out too, but feel like it will be disappointing? I feel like I always go into things expecting to like them or hoping to like them. Because I feel like if you go into it expecting to be disappointed, you probably will be disappointed. Um, What else do we have? Let's look at this furniture. Is it supposed to be like vinyl? I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. If they were intending them to match, they do not. Oh, I agree. I wouldn't wear them together. I was just like demonstrating the like texture thing that I felt about it. Um, let's look at. Oh, we have the swan boat now. Uh, I don't want to put it there. Let me just put it up here for a second. Can it go in the? Oh, it can. And we have this. This is very cute. I'm probably going to use these a lot. Or, well, I mean, more than I think some people would expect. It looks like it's made out of a shower curtain. A little bit, Camille. I see that, actually. Um, This is really cute. It's really cute. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm going to have to find a place to put them. I don't actually mind them being in the river, although it wouldn't be able to get past here and it's about to fall over this rapids or like this waterfall into nowhere. But I still think it's cute. And I like the stuffed animal. I do. Okay. Um, we have a lady in the tramp motif. Let me see. Um, also, I had the issue the other day where I ran out of um, things that I can make in Touch of Magic, which is just disappointing. I'm just going to redo this boy. We're going to make this white for now. It's really not very many things, by the way. I don't know if anybody really uses Touch of Magic for clothing like that, but it's not a large number. Like, it's... Yeah, I feel like I don't have that many clothing items, but I already can't make more. Um, can I do it like this? No, of course not. Why would that work? Why would that work? Um, we'll just do this. There's a cap for touch of magic items. Yes. Well, at least for clothes. I haven't reached one with furniture, but I haven't really made much furniture, so I can't say. But, um... Anyway, welcome to Tink's school of making touch of magic items. <laughs> you take a motif, you make it as giant as you can, and then you find a background color of a shirt to work. <laughs> and there you go. A beautiful tank top. Except for the beach vibes premium shop bundle. Wait. It seems like they don't give us complete outfits anymore. Wait, like with the premium shop? Um, I might be in the minority, but I felt like I don't wear those items together. I always wear them as separate items. Cute, love it. <laughs> Thanks. It's so just like, uh, minimal energy but I don't know I feel like these motifs like what else are you gonna do with these I can't imagine a world in which I would have like small versions of these motifs really on clothing if that makes sense or really on furniture I mean maybe you could make it like I don't know like small sort of where a pocket would be or something but I don't know how much I would actually do that Darker jeans, love to see it. And, I don't know, some sneakers. OK, 
cute there we go maybe a canvas that's about it yeah exactly like i like the motifs i know a lot of people don't like them i do but um this one looks a little bit weird oh not when you're up close just when you're far away interesting i would feel like it would be the opposite but maybe that's just me um yeah i like the motifs but uh only for kind of specific things you just looked at your star path you only need pages five and six and then you're done congratulations getting close um i probably will end up skipping over the sully dream style for now and i'll probably try to just get the rest of that stuff um uh i don't want to do this let me just check the restaurant again and see if anything's going on. I highly doubt it. I really feel like it's the top of the hour that it switches over. Yeah, no one wants anything or needs anything. So I guess we're kind of stuck, to be honest. Let me see how many mushrooms we have. One. Okay. Yeah, so I think we might actually wrap up stream. This happened faster than I anticipated that it would, to be honest. Let me see if anybody else is playing. But we will be back tomorrow for some Coral Island. We'll get a nice up close <laughs> on our very fancy Touch of Magic shirt. Um, I'll be back tomorrow playing some Coral Island. On Tuesday, we're going to be doing decorating on the aisle. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be decorating. Probably a mini casita. Maybe our little fairy area. It really just depends. Um, let's go see Mr. Star and Sky. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with me, by the way. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and take care of yourselves. And if I don't see you tomorrow, maybe at the next Streamlight Valley stream or something like that. Thank you for putting up with my technical difficulties. <laughs> I really do appreciate you. And please press the like button on your way out if you haven't already. That's pretty much it. Goodbye, everybody.